What's up? Hi. I remember to turn the, so the songs on, luckily, before the end. And good thing, too, because that last song was really cool. I think it fit the vibe really well. Anyway, hi. For, for those of you tuning in for the very first time, my name's Yara the Wizard. That's how you pronounce it. No one gets it right. Some people do, if they know me, or if they're really, really cool, or if they know about Norse mythology uh, and Norse runes. Because it's the, it's the rune for Jay. Looks like that. I got a tattoo of it, actually. Look. Look, I'm really bad at showing it off because it's a weird angle. All right, hang on, hang on. I have no idea if you'll be able to see it. Ready? Can you see it? Anyway. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect it to be a really, really good uh, showing of the tattoo, but like, you know, you get the vibe, you get the idea. All right, all right. Anyway, um, Pajama Sam. You know me, you've heard it. You've heard me say the name. You know it's, uh, I'm speaking about it as if it's my nemesis instead of uh, my va very favorite thing in the whole world. But that's just because I've had nemeses on the mind. Because, uh, yeah. In Discord. I don't really know what came over me, but I decided that it was time to, uh, it was time to, to declare nemeses. Uh, I got my own nemesis in the chat right now. Watch out, tags. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break rocks. I'm gonna take a really nice example of like a nice rock that you like, and I'm gonna go carelessly fracture it. Not even like a nice fracture, like a bad fracture. I would never do that to geology. I'm acting like I hate geology just for the bit, but like, you know I never could. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, it's time to play Pajama Sam, okay? Um, what is the thing? It's like, I literally just looked up how to window mode a thing. Why did I close the tab like a fool? Alt enter, that's how you do it. <laughs> anyway, let's play Pajama Sam. A little intro first, okay? Pajama Sam is a game by Humongous Entertainment. What's Humongous Entertainment, you might ask? Humongous Entertainment is a game company from the early 90s that made a bunch of children's games that you might have heard of, such as Pajama Sam, Putt-Putt, uh, Freddy Fish, Spy Fox, Backyard Sports, such as Backyard Baseball, Backyard uh, Soccer. Uh, I never played any of the Backyard Sports. Um, so I don't really have much experience in them. I should try them out sometime on stream, to be honest. But anyway, tangent. They made a lot of really cool games that, you know, if you grew up in this era, you might have fond memories of one or many of them. I played many of them. I was, I was quite lucky, but my very favorite. Ah, you're a backyard baseball kid. Yay, yeah, yeah. So like, we, we, we got to talk about those. I, I'm intrigued about those. I don't know too much about them other than uh, I watched some, some videos about them. Um, but they're held in just as high regard as uh, as the others. And, you know, it's a lot of the same devs, so, like, I, I fully understand why. Um, oh, yeah, Pablo Sanchez. Yep. Yeah, no, everyone knows about Pablo Sanchez. <laughs> nice, yeah. My, uh, my sibling is a, uh, a Spy Fox person. I was always Pajama Sam first and foremost, but, like, I did play them all. I played them all a lot of times. Um, as you can see on my shelf behind me, I've got Pajama Sam in box, and I've got, like, uh, my little Pajama Sam plushie and my pup pup plushie and my Pajama Sam, uh, whoop, um, lunchbox is the word that I was looking for. But, yeah, it's very important to me to have so many things. I gotta have more merch. More merch. More Pajama Sam merch. More humongous edit tape. Anyway, I got on a tangent about cool oh oh church oh we got a church mouse in here mm. Mm. if you come in here in your first time in the chat it's calling everyone else a church mouse it sounds like you're the church mouse buddy 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 um the pajama sam game with the beans that would have been the third game pajama sam you are what you eat from your head to your feet but i'm getting ahead of myself let's start let's start oh my gosh if only I mean, they're, they're, they're barely a thing really anymore, but like, honestly, it's my, per it's my perfect job just like 
running their social media account and just like getting way too hype on this thing that like no one cares about as much as I do like oh yeah that's my dream um but okay so uh ah spy fox kid well it's good taste good taste to spy fox uh, i love the stylization of all the art styles but anyway I, I, I let me let me let me back up let me back up because we're given we're given a full a full history here so humongous entertainment um started off with um let me look up the wiki because i don't want to give wrong information here um ba -ba 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 -ba. no 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 the wiki page thank you okay um Okay, that is what I thought. Yeah, their their very first game was Putt Putt Joins the Parade. Um, so that was that was the 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 very first, um, that was the very first one, and uh, you, you can tell by by the graphics. Um, we'll, we'll play it at some point. I played Putt Putt Goes to the Moon, uh, which was the year after with a few friends recently, and like it's really really cool seeing the very early stuff. Um, uh, Pablo Sanchez could kill a man with his baseball powers. It's so true though. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Humongous Entertainment, um, started by, uh, um, uh, Shelly Day and Ron Gilbert, um, Ron Gilbert, you may know from, um, making the, the, um, what are they freaking called, the Monkey Island games, um, a lot of, like, LucasArts stuff, um, and, uh, just, a, really, a lot of really cool people worked on this, and, like, a lot of artists that are, are, you know, still obviously working today, because it wasn't that long ago, realistically, um, you know, a lot of artists that are, that are doing really cool things in video gaming now, um, and who, incidentally, um, I've told some of you, are, like, really responsive, answering questions, uh, I'm in a Facebook group, um, for, uh, that started off as Humongous Entertainment devs only, and then they opened it up to the public, um, so that nerds of my persuasion can join and, like, ask really oddly specific questions that you can't really find the answer to. Um, and they're really responsive. They're really wonderful about that, which is absolutely, uh, lovely and, um, super love that. They, uh, so, yeah, um, and anytime I come up with a, a question I can't answer, I can usually find someone who knows the answer, which is absolutely delightful. But anyway, today our focus is going to be Pajama Sam, no need to hide when it's dark outside. So, a uh, little b uh, background about this game. This, uh, it's a point-and-click adventure game, um, meant for children. Um, the writing is extremely clever. The writer is Dave Grossman, who also wrote the Monkey Island games. Um, and the art style, lovely. So beautiful. You'll see. But uh, I'm just gonna, like, I'm prefacing, I'm right? I'm prefacing. Um... Yeah, art style, beautiful. The music, beautiful. One of the composers of the music, Jeremy Soule, uh, who is uh, well known for writing the Elder Scrolls soundtracks, the soundtracks for the Harry Potter video games, um, and the um, Star Wars Old Republic video games, a lot of other things. Um, yeah, like, really, really wonderful music. Uh, and then all of the backgrounds have... Uh, a really wonderful array of detail and it's all extremely interactive even if something in the background doesn't serve the plot in any way if you click on it it will do some kind of animation we're gonna be doing a lot of clicking around but it's extremely so much influenced my my maximalism style uh, that, that I have in real life like all, all almost every Thing that I have ever created, I can somehow trace back to having an influence from a humongous entertainment game, which is pretty incredible. But I've 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 uh, I've gone on and on enough, so let's start the game. And please let me know if the sound is high enough on the game. <laughs> Deep in the bowels of an old power plant, a sinister plot is hatching. Ha ha! At last the time has come to hatch my sinister plot. This lever will activate my blackout generator and the world will be thrown into eternal night. Not so fast, darkness. What? <gasps> Pajama Man! That's right, Fiend. And I have some gadgets of my own. Take that! Ah! Not the Illuminator Mark V! Do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I wish you'd pick up your socks once in a while. Sure thing, Mom. 
you can consider that done. Okay, Sam, you remember tonight's the night we go to sleep with the lights off. Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm ready. And I can put on my pajama Sam mask if I get scared. That's good, dear. Good night, Sam. I gotta make night, a pajama Mom. Sam mask. There's no need to the hide when I it's dark outside. No need to hide when it's dark I'll outside. I'm not scared. Darkness lives in my closet, but that's okay. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm scared. I can't sleep with darkness hanging around in my closet. I'm gonna have to capture him. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! I love that spinning animation. Now, where's my Pajama Sam mask? When he puts I on need that his and cape. my flashlight and um, my lunchbox. And he spins around and he I'm turns sure into like a little swirly. Like, somewhere. it's very superhero y. Um, and I, I use that same animation technique, um, like the one and only time I made like a 2D animation sprite for a video game uh, with Bim. And it was really, really cool. Because uh, Bim spun around this way and I kind of made him turn into a little red and blue blur, much like Sam. But. So, here we are in the very first background. We have a beautiful, beautiful soundtrack going. I, ho I hope you can... Sam gets impatient very quickly. Um, I, uh, I hope you can hear the, the music well. Please let me know if you can't, and I will adjust things as needed. Um, because the music is really important. Just as important as the dialogue. It's really lovely. But, so here is a lovely, lovely, crazy maximalism uh, background. We're just going to click around and just show you, like... Turn down the game a bit, thank you. Okay. How's it there? Can you still hear the music? Cool, thank you. Wonderful. I always, uh, when I go back and look at my streams, I always notice the game is far too quiet, so I, I, I wanted to avoid that. Um, but, so wonderful things about this game. So, um, all these sound effects... Here's Rachel. Some of these sound effects might be a little, uh, familiar if you've watched a lot of cartoons and stuff, because a lot of these, uh, sound effects come from either Hollywood Sound or the Hanna-Barbera, uh, sound catalog. Um, oh yeah, 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 we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so a lot of these sound effects, if you've got a keen ear, you will notice them in other things. I kept noticing them uh, when I watched Adventure Time recently. I kept hearing, like, that whoop, like, little sounds like that that are just really common in cartoons. Like, they, they are all over this game, um, which is really, really cool. When I, like, notice really specific little whoo, and I'm like, wait... That's from Pajama Sam. Like, I feel like I'm insane, but then I look it up and then I'm right! So, I am insane, but I'm right also. But yes, so, as Wowie Noise says, um, Pajama Sam. I need to find my Pajama Sam stuff so I can go into my closet and capture darkness! Is voiced by Pamela Odlin. Uh, sorry, I always uh, say her name incorrectly. It's it's hard for me to say. Um, uh, but uh, who is the voice of Bobby Hill, Ashley Spinelli? There's a third thing that I always forget, but is another well-known reference. But yeah, she's great. She's a wonderful voice actor. Um. <laughs> hey, one of my socks. Mom said I should pick these up. Yes, yeah, so this th throughout is where I'll this put game. all the socks I find. There is a, a collectible of the socks. It doesn't actually do anything for you. It's just a fun little thingy, little, little thingy for you. But yeah, let's uh, let's look around because uh, Sam uh, said before, if you didn't catch that, that we have to find his mask, his lunchbox, and his flashlight so that we can go into the closet and defeat darkness once and for all. I freaking love, by the way, that Sam is like, he's oh, like, I'm afraid. Here's my oh, hey, found Sam it. mask. Gotta protect my secret identity. Now I just need my lunchbox and my flashlight. He's like, I'm afraid of the dark. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna defeat the abstract concept of darkness. Hell yeah, like hero status. Anyway, if there's anything that you especially want me to click on at any point, please let me know and I will click on it. Um, because, uh, you know, I obviously won't be able to click on everything on every screen. But if you're really curious, I would love to, uh, I would love to do that. <laughs> also, I want to also highlight on this screen, um, this foreground here 
they use this technique a lot where they have a foreground in a sort of monochromatic thing to give the depth of the room and to show like this isn't a three-sided room like there is a fourth wall that we are looking past but it's just irrelevant to our viewpoint and i think that's a really awesome artistic choice that they use in the in this game a lot um that we'll point it out the foreground cannot be clicked um so you can see by the uh when the the mouse highlights when it's something that can be interacted with which is another nice touch sometimes the foreground can be interacted with um as we uh we noticed in the last time we played th through this on um on st stream uh i believe but um not on this screen but anyway let's keep looking around aha my trusty flashlight trusty huh? flashlight watch out he's gonna blind you this is a little kid. This will help me capture darkness. Now I just have to find my lunchbox. Yeah, well, yeah, you can click it, but nothing will happen. Yeah, sorry, that was how I should have specified. Um, but, um... Oh, yeah, and also, this game got me saying trusty when I was a kid. I was like, oh, my trusty blah, blah, blah. And, like, people That's thought I was weird for, for saying hero. that. Like, I definitely picked up a lot of phrases from these games that people then we're like why did why do you say that? a bunch of socks <laughs> nothing good nothing good and if you click this the uh, the uh, uh, the intro comic will play again uh, i'm not going to do that obviously but nothing good under there <laughs> ah yes the omni lad hey my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox who threw this away I can keep darkness in here after I capture him. Okay, I'm ready to go into my closet and capture darkness. All right, we're ready. All right, I'm ready for action. All right, I'm ready for action. All right, darkness, here comes Pajama Sam. Hello? Is anybody in here? Darkness? Hello? <gasps> Whoa! Wow! This game brings me such delight. Wow, this looks like where darkness lives, all right. I better go find him before mom notices I'm gone. So here we are. Well, there's no turning back now. <laughs> Our first uh, glimpse of the land of darkness, which stylistically is so cool. It is so like, like it's not goth, but it's like, it is nighttime all of the time. And it is themed as nighttime themed, but it is also themed as just like random junk that could be in Sam's closet, which is fantastic. Let's click around. Hey, there's your Freddy Fish music. <laughs> I think it does, I think it, oh. I think it has a Spy Fox one too. Oh no, maybe Spy Fox hadn't come out yet. I don't have to wake you up anymore. Um, anyway. Wait, no, I think there's a Spy Fox reference somewhere in this game. Keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out if there's a Spy Fox reference in this game. The other thing that's nice is that these uh, animations can layer. So like I can click a bunch of things at, at the same time and just kind of like let it stack up. And it's not gonna go crazy with the sound effects, it's only gonna play the most recent sound effects, so it does get too annoying. But it still lets, you know, your little kid brain go like, aha, let me click everything and see what happens, uh, like, let me go fast. Like, it, it, it is it is fine with that, which is really cool. It's a nice balance. I never played any point and click on Newgrounds. Boy, I had no idea my closet was this big on the inside. I like all the little comments like that too. And Another of sock. A sock. I better pick it up like mom said. I should match up these socks. Looks like I need to find a toy. So the uh the, the other thing that's really cool is like the the sequence in which you do things does sometimes affect the dialogue. 
Um, like, for instance, if uh, th there is a piece of wood here, we could click on it and notice it ahead of time. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now because I want to use the, I want to get to the other dialogue where, where he notices it later. So we're going to continue. Oh, that sounds fun. If that still exists, we should, uh, we should play Whoa! that. Customs, customs inspection. Well, 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 what have we here? Hey. like a flashlight and a signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Did you declare these before entering the land of darkness, young man? Declare? Well, no, I guess not. I, um... I think we'd better confiscate these items. They could be dangerous. Hey, I need those. And you're traveling in disguise. Let's see what you really look like, hmm? My Pajama <laughs> Sam mask! Pajama Sam, eh? Well, all right then, Pajama Sam. You can go, but I've got my eye on you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now what do I do? Well, what shall we do? Does anyone have any ideas? Oh, no. I can't remember what we do next. What should I click? I'm gonna click around while you decide. Ah, here, here's an example where you can click on the foreground and it'll do something. I can't get over there. I'm tied to a tree. I wonder what Pajama Man would do in a situation like this. Pajama Sam is not a violent hero. Okay, Pajama Sam is all about kindness and... Oh, you untied the foot. That's a good idea. But yeah, Pajama Sam, you'll notice in any situation where someone is being confrontational you know, at him, if you like. he is peaceful uh, back. Thanks. He is a pacifist. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Thing. Like, it's yeah, great. How am I supposed to capture darkness without He's all just my a stuff? Kid. Well, I'm sure your things are here in the land of darkness somewhere. If you look around, you might be able to find them again. I hope so. I'll bring you back your rope later, okay? Good luck. <laughs> there are uh instances where you can have like um some kind of uh like it, in the second game for instance you have a crowbar in your inventory at some point uh and if you use that crowbar with a character sam says that wouldn't be very nice which i think is really great like he acknowledges like no no no, no. we're not doing violence in this game <laughs> Uh-oh. I hope that nice tree's not too mad that I lost her rope. At least I got this great piece of wood. Boop, boop, boo doo doo Bop, 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 dump, da da Oh, and here's another really uh, nice bit of optional dialogue that I like. I feel kind of bad about losing your rope. Would you like to have this piece of wood instead? Ew, take it away, take it away. See, exactly, just like that. Like, um, the, the, the devs acknowledge really every possible uh, combination and scenario that you can do this game in, which I think the attention to detail in this game is, is absolutely freaking Another immaculate. Song. Like, I, it always, hang on. It always feels, it always feels like I'm exaggerating when I'm talking about this game, but I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. All right, it changed my freaking life. Okay, it continues to change my life. Like, just trust me, trust me, okay? Anyway, I'm not crazy. Everything is fine. <laughs> Come on, Sam. And here we are! Look that at this! That scary looking place up there must be Darkness's house. I'll 
bet that's where I'll find him. So, this right here, this background right here is my favorite background in the whole game. And that is saying something. This game is full of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful... Uh, yeah, this is the one that I want to get as a tattoo on, the, on my blank arm here. Like, th this, this tree, this background is so incredible. Let's go into incredible detail about it. Let's go into incredible detail about it. So, this background was originally painted by Derek McConaughey, I want to say. Um, is his last name? Uh, um, I might be saying the syllables wrong, but, like, it's mostly those letters. Um, and, um... I found that out because I had to ask the humongous group. It didn't say which artist painted which drawing. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. The color scheme of this game, the red with the cyan and the dark blue is such a favorite co color combination. And the pops of yellow for brightness, like it, it is such a lovely color scheme. Like the fact that all the greens are very blue green, they're very dull, uh, unless you're like in a place where like it's meant to be, where it's meant to be, stuck out but like this background okay we've got we've got the big red leaves we've got the imposing threat of darkness in front of us okay we've also got uh one of my favorite uh techniques in um in art which is tiny little person big thing that they're looking at like it gives that sense of scale that sense of immensity that sense of of like whoa i am looking up at this thing like it, it makes you feel that that thing is big you know it, which it, it it feels really silly to say it that way but like i just i love that effect and i think it's really effective here but then additionally about this scene so this place uh this is the main crossroads of the game we have a lot of different screens a lot of different interlocking areas and some that connect to each other but the three main areas that you can explore within the game are darkness's house the mines or the boat dock down this way and the signs say so and also if you are a small child who perhaps can't read and you're like what does that say it says dark's house it says boat dock it says mines immaculate 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 i um i actually think i re um i used uh this similar uh format of of like stylized uh skewed looking signs uh for uh an interface i did uh for an outlaws game in um it was like a cowboy game that i did in, in college um okay and also the mountains so the mountains at first i didn't really um think about how important they were to the composition of this image but then i built this house in minecraft um i built this this tree and it looked cool it was big it was immense but without the mountains it was not it wasn't in, it wasn't enough because the fact is that this tree is towering over the adjacent mountains like the, that and that adds to the the feeling of scale um that this image brings which is so great um anyway all right so since Quaddy mentioned the boat docks let's go to the boat docks first let's go over there oh hang on let's click around a little more <laughs> That looks like Darkness's house. Yeah. That looks like Darkness's house. And I also like that the, the animations usually reset themselves. Every now and then they will remain something and then you'll have to like click through and it will cycle through some stuff. Um, but most of the time um, that's there. And then one last thing to highlight on this screen is the the, the lighting and the shadow, right? Look at the light reflected off here and here. Like, I had to do that part in Minecraft manually with blocks because it was so important to the image. Like, you, you, you have to have that bright reflection there. And then also over here by the mines, like the mines are very full of lava as you'll see shortly. And you can see it reflecting here. You can even see, I'm pointing to the screen like you can see where my hand's going, but like you can see a very slight animation here even. Uh, in the, the, the mines, you can see the, uh... Oh! Oh, the heart, the darkness within the dark, darkness has found, has found the darkness within you, Donald! Um, anyway, let's go to the boat dock. 
And the shadow is in the foreground. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Here's our boy! So, there's two ways we can go about this scene, right? Uh, as before, there, there's the combinations of things. So, um, spoiler alert. Our friend Otto here has a bit of a phobia. So, yeah, he's great. I love Otto. Um, and, uh, and we can teach him about that with this piece of wood. We can do that in any order, though. We can first do the interaction with the wood, in which case he'll be like, what are you doing? And you'll be like, I was just messing around. And, um... Then, uh, or you can do what we're going to do, which is talk to him first, he will explain his problem, and then we'll solve it with the tools at hand. But I think it's really cool that the devs took either way into, uh, into account. So, hi, let's Hello. talk to our boy! My name's Sam. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in a metal lunchbox. After I find my lunchbox, you're I'm a metal lunchbox. Well, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Church Apple. Mouse. Would you give me a ride across the river? Oh, no. I can't go in the water, I think. I'm made of wood, you know. But wood floats. No, I don't think so. I had this friend and he told me this story about his dentist brother Cut who, scene. um, he was made of wood and he got in the water and he sank. Really? Straight to the bottom, it's so scary. I wish I'd been a car. I think your friend was wrong. Wood floats in the water. Oh, I wish that were true. Let's unpack this. Boat, afraid of water. All right, great, cute. We're teaching kids about the power of misinformation, the power of, of research, the power of, 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 of experimentation and, uh, and okay, results-based reasoning. Right? Look at this. Yes. Look right, at this. Now watch. <laughs> See, it floats. Wood floats. Yeah? So you'll float too. Yeah, Sam's Go got on, a lot of great poses like that. I guess. The scary music too, though. Well, so far, so good. Well, here goes nothing. I'm doing it. I'm floating. Yahoo! Oh boy, this is great. Can I give you a ride somewhere? Come on, hop in! So, here's another great thing. The game is really great at um, making it so you don't have extraneous items in your inventory after you need them. There are a handful of items that can be used more than once in more than one um, scenario, and you keep those in your, um, yeah, you're right. Uh, you keep those in your inventory, but with things like, for instance, the rope, that was a one-use item. You needed that to get the board here and nothing else. So the game makes you lose the rope as soon as you get the board. Simple replacement. This, after you have solved Otto's problem, you no longer need this wood. You cannot pick it up now. And then after you go away, check this out. Oh, let's go sailing. Well, technically after we this. can't do that since I'm not a sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean, but technically you should say, let's Watch go Otto. floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing. Okay. So the second they both look away, if the the board sinks, it, it, it got saturated and it sunk. But that is so that you no longer have this item like tempting you being like, oh, do I still need to interact with this? No, it's gone. It, it was used, it's gone. Flawless, wonderful game design. All right, so I also like this uh, above, um, this, this above uh, overhead view. Um, yeah, to this part joy. Um, yeah, this overhead view is really nice, really creative. You don't see this in a lot of games, um, or at least a lot of 2D games. Like, you really stick to that very, like, linear view. But, like, you know, we're, and, and Sam's out in the water, he's been out for a while, so, like, now he's looking down, he's looking at forward. He... I can't capture darkness until I find all my pajama Sam stuff. I need to find my stuff before I go get darkness. Yeah. Let's go over here, though, because I have something to show you. What is that thing anyway? That's a geyser. A what? A geyser. It's kind of a hot spring that spurts up water and steam every so often. It works kind of like a coffee percolator. Water in passages deep down where the rocks are hot 
it's heated up to the point where it would normally turn into steam. Except it doesn't because of the pressure of all the other water on top of it. So it gets really hot and it expands and it pushes some of the colder water out of the top. That relieves the pressure and all of a sudden the hot water turns into steam and POW! It erupts out along with all the colder water on top. Then more water flows down into the deep passages and the whole thing starts all over again. Most geysers are located in Wyoming, New Zealand, or Iceland. The word geyser originated in Iceland. Merch from available word in my merch store. Meaning gush. Geysers are usually very unpredictable about when they erupt. The most famous exception is a <laughs> geyser called Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, which erupts every 64 Wyoming. minutes. Uh, give or take about three minutes. It looks like this one goes off a lot more often than that. <laughs> um, thanks a lot, Otto. <laughs> Otto is the freaking best, and he will info dump about guys. Hey, what am I not? And he will do it again if you stay here long enough. Sam will be like, what did you say that thing was called again? And he'll be like, and he'll say the whole speech all over again. It's so great. It's so great. <laughs> hey, hoes, are you trying to fight abstract concepts? That's a geyser. It's from Wyoming. Also, these make really satisfying sounds. Listen to this. Also, the fact that every time the geyser goes off, they will look at it. Like, just little, little, little lovely animation details like that. It's just so good. Ah! <laughs> Crazed rantings about humongous entertainment for free on Twitch. Subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I want to see a geyser so bad and I want to wear my gratuitous educational content shirt and have a picture of me as the geyser is going off like and then I want to send it to everyone in humongous entertainment <laughs> Bye, Otto. Like, Bye, I'll be back soon guys. okay I'll leave the meter running <laughs> Huh? Well, um, I had this friend, and he's a taxi, and... Okay, bye-bye now, bye-bye. They're so good. They're so good. I love all the little dialogue that happens. That looks like one of Dad's socks. I wonder how it got here. Hold! Just where do you think you're going? Um, nowhere really. I just wanted to pass by. Just barging through like that? Without even asking permission? Have you no manners? It is customary. No, I don't think I have. Oh, no, this isn't another customs inspection, is it? Are you gonna take all my stuff? I assure you, we have no interest in your Tags. stuff. That's awesome. Phew. That's a relief. I'm sorry if I offended you. May I pass through? No. No? This is an exclusive road. It's for trees only. Yes, trees only. Now, be off with you. I don't know if I can make coupon codes on Teespring, but if I can, I'll make you a special one since you're my nemesis. Anyway, it's for trees only. We can't go that way. But I have an idea. Neat, an old hollow log. Maybe there's a frog in it or something. Brat, there's nothing in here at all. He just wanted to see uh -oh. if there oh, was I'm a frog. Stuck. What a brilliant child. Yes, I'm definitely stuck. I wonder how pajamas are. You cannot eat the rich trees, it. unfortunately. Sam is a kind soul, what? a kind lad. He would never hurt a fly, not even a rich billionaire tree. He will save that for other people. He'd probably sell them out, though. Uh, tree coming through. Look at Good them smiling. Good day to you, fellow tree. Good day to you, fellow tree. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
Ooh, hot in there. You ever get hey, your head stuck in a log for that That's my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox over there. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. Yeah, like Sam's not about the uh, the, the the harm. Sam's not about the uh, the thing. But like, he will wear the corpse of a dead one. No worries, it's dead. What are they gonna do? What do you know? Another sock. What do you know? Another sock. Well, there's a lot to unpack here in this image. We've got a wishing well, wishing itself. We have the lunchbox. I box. can't get to it through all these plants with big thorns on them. I wish I had super tough skin like Pajama Man. It was a really nice close-up of the thorns. Like, that wasn't even necessary. Like, it's so freaking clear that there's something is surrounded by thorns. But, like, yeah, we got the mask on the carrot. We got so much here. Let's talk to the carrot. Is that my Pajama Sam mask? This mask belongs to the people. You're gonna love this mask. It sure looks this like my carrot, mask. I'm sorry. Property is theft, man. Anyway, I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the Salad Liberation Front. The what? Yeah, that's how you the get the good ending. The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of <laughs> veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of being relegated to the salad. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I yep. just want my mask back. Comrade Carrot. I'll tell you what. The other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness's kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, it's a deal. Great. I'll come with you to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Okay, sure. Well, sounds like we've got a quest. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to lose but our greens. <laughs> They use that sound effect in, um, um, um... Buffering. Putt-putt goes to the moon. Plump fact. <laughs> yeah, Sam is super not ready for this little ideological nuance. Like, it's so great. Like, all the time people, uh, is that... Did they use that sound in Sonic? That's cool. I didn't play any Sonic. Um, but yeah, it's great because sometimes people will like expout complicated things to Sam, and he's just I like, guess "I better put my ingenious disguise what? back on." I don't know what that means, but that Whoa. sounds nice. <laughs> good day, fellow tree. And a good day to you as well. He's so freaking wholesome. Love Sam. Like, the fact that I don't have a, a Pajama Sam tattoo yet is really ridiculous of me, but it's because I want to get such a big and good one <laughs> that, like, I gotta afford that. Like, I gotta, you know, so donate to my, donate to my coffee so I can get a really freaking sick Pajama Sam tattoo. Join my Patreon so I can get a really freaking sick Pajama Sam tattoo. Donate to my Patreon so I can wear the dead head of the bourgeoisie. <laughs> Speaking of the bourgeoisie, let's talk to this horrible asshole bridge. Hi, I'm Sam. I'd like to cross the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't Reasonable. try to butter me up. If you want to go across, <gasps> you'll have to pay a toll. How much is yes, the toll? Pajama Sam One tattoo. pound of gold. Yeah, so this guy wants a pound of gold to cross his stupid bridge. And in some playthroughs, here's a spoiler for you. Here's a spoiler. Here's a freaking spoiler. Sorry, I just grabbed the mic by the mouth, but like, here's a freaking spoiler. In some playthroughs, it's not even necessary to cross that bridge. Hmm. I don't know what playthrough we're on now because it. Oh, yeah, here's another. I didn't even mention this before. I didn't even mention this, but Pajama Sam has not multiple endings, but multiple scenarios, multiple places where the three items that you have to find can be found. Um, so, therefore, replayability. It's great. It's so great. Blah! And here's another example of the foreground being really, really nice. Like, very monochromatic, using that purple to denote, like, shadow. You can click on some of it. 23k? Yeah! Let's just get 23k. But hang on, what was it in 1998? That's when this game came out. Can you look that up, please? Because 
Pajama Sam is canonically like almost 30 now um because he's like the same age as me um yeah no I, I've been for years I've been joking about like just remaking Pajama Sam as an open world game. Obviously, I don't have the technical skill to do this at all, but like, it, it's a really fun bit. Like, just be like, yep, I'm just remaking Pajama Sam. Just the land of darkness, open world. Have fun. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where Pajama Sam is today. All I know is he's, he's probably like 28, depressed, jobless. <laughs> it's an oil can. And there's some oil there's in some it. There's some oil in it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We gotta find out if he's okay. So, in this playthrough, as you see, there's already a doorknob here. In some playthroughs, you have to find a doorknob elsewhere um, in order to, uh, to access this room. But even so, there's still another the door area. Is stuck. I think <laughs> the hinges are rusty. <laughs> U.S. military wants to know. Oh, and so here's another interesting thing. So because this one is a character... I'm pretty sure that won't work. You can occasionally... Oh, okay, it didn't work in this... You can sometimes make him talk to other people. Okay, about 9K in 1998, adjusted for inflation. Thank you, Cosmic Cowboy Thane. Yeah, like... It's an expensive freaking bridge, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, we can't get into this place. Oh, no. What if we had an oil... Click it! Thank you. What if we had an oil can? These hinges can? look kind of rusty. Or, or, or 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 that did the trick. He's just like, yeah, I fixed something. I... I feel that, Sam. But yeah, so in this playthrough, as you see, there's nothing up on this shelf. In some playthroughs, this is the location of the flash... of the flashlight. Um, but because this is, uh, not the location of the flashlight, this time there's only one very quick layer of challenge to get into this door. Like, the oil can's always out there and you can fix the hinges, but if there's no doorknob, you still can't get in. So you would have had to go and find the doorknob in its location and then access this place. But even so, there are some useful things here. Let's click around. This is another example of a permanent amina uh, animation, uh, animation that cycles. <laughs> Uh, it cycles all the way through. You're a doorknob. What are you, Twin Peaks? I just saw that one. What are you, Josie Packard? Also, also, the fact that this mouse hand has a Disney mouse hand and is getting hit by the mouse trap. Social commentary? Social commentary? I don't know. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, the meta, yeah, the sp speedrun meta tips. Wow, hammer! Works great! <laughs> the fact that he immediately is like, I gotta test it! <laughs> oh, it's a church mouse trap. Hmm, what is a church mouse trap? Yeah, yeah, it, so you have to have a mouse trap, and as the bait, it's, yeah, you have to have the cheesiest of Bible verses, but then also, like, a little communion wafer, just in case the mouse is Catholic. Anyway. <laughs> I've never eaten one of those on account of how I'm not Catholic. I bet they're not good though, they don't look good. No offense to any Catholics who's here, but... I love these backgrounds here. They're just transient, they're just for this, these animations here, but like, it's lovely. Oh, and I love the cave music. It's so lovely. <laughs> Perhaps they are. So here's another lovely fact. So there is a character that we'll meet shortly who lives in the mines who at this time cannot move around the tracks, but later can move around the tracks. After we have solved his problem, if we were down here in this location, he would occasionally pew, zoom through as just a little animation, uh, which is so great that it just changes based on the game state of like whether you have solved his problem or not. It's just great. <laughs> Red adjacent styrofoam? Good to know. I wasn't planning on having any, but I'm just naturally curious about just about everything, so it's the way it be. 
Let's go back up the falls and come down again. Oh, I have a better idea. Let's not. Anyway, we can't go back up those falls. We'll have to go out a different way. Also, look at the shading of the moonlight over here. <laughs> I mean, they probably do. You could probably just buy them. And we can have, like, gross snacks for, for no reason when we could just what have good know, snacks instead. Thought. What do you know? Another sock. Oh, oh yeah, this is Otto. Yeah. So I mean, we will have another vehicle-based friend soon who is also buddy cop level. Um. And hang on, I just want to chill here without the water sound, so you can hear the cave uh, song really well, cause it's really lovely. Um. But uh, both of our our, our vehicle-based buddies are amazing. I really loved them as a kid. But I actually had dreams about the other one who we'll meet soon. His name is King, and he's a minecart. Spoiler! Listen to how cool this soundtrack is, though. It's awesome. Okay, so it's this playthrough. So, I don't know if you remember anywhere we, we might have seen a wishing well, but... I bet that's the bucket from that well in the sticker bushes. The current is too strong. Look at his effort face. I can't get this up there by myself. All right, so he can't get up there. We'll have to find another way, some kind of solution. And then here's a great thing. Here's something great. It's a geyser. That looks like one of my big brother Mark's socks. It smells like one too. So, this stage is also beautiful. I love the, the purple and green crystals here. Oh. oh, wait, hang on. I want to do this one again to make it do the... Yep, Pajama Mark. That's his, uh, his brother. French one again. Do the French one again. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Anyway, if you stand here long enough, um, Otto will also do his um his uh geyser monologue down here, which is really really cool. Um. Oh jeez. Yeah, that would made super well. Yeah, um, he will do his monologue about geysers yeah, down was, or up, which is really let's cool. Let's do it again! Um, how about not right away, okay? Okay. So, we're gonna, we're gonna journey on from Otto for now, but don't worry, we'll see him again later. Thanks for the lift, Otto! No problem! I can float now, you know. He's so cute! I can float now, you know. Adorable. All right, let's go to the mines. We're gonna have a really... Oh yeah, so this is a consistent um, graphical gl uh, glitch that I've noticed in the Steam port. This sock is pretty consistently Another half sock. invisible, which is very strange. Um, and, uh, is, and there's also an animation that doesn't occur um, that uh, Sam does um, shortly. That like, it's really, really specific and it's only because I remember it happening and I know it happens, but okay. Anyway, let's talk to King. I love King. I love the soundtrack in the mines. I love the mines. Let's go. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm gonna capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? No, not really. Then why did you say it is? Look, I I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop the loop. Oh, but so it's the loop the loop had, uh, uh, animation. Rushed. There, there's Rushed? a Yeah, rust. <coughs> See, my wheels are rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. Another great detail. Did you catch that Sam looked up at the end of that dialogue bit? When he mentioned the pigeons, he's like, wait, are there any now? Haha. <laughs> it's so great. 
It's so clever. It's so great. Um, look up. He might be that guy because, um, King is... Sam, will you stop whistling? I'm talking. Um, he is the, um, the voice of the, um... He's the announcer guy from Halo. I looked that up. Um, uh, I've never played Halo, so I can't really give you any more details, but King, the, the voice of King is a, a, a voice actor who's done a lot more video game work. So like, it is quite, quite uh, reasonable that you would recognize him from someone. So he very well might be Ford Cruller from Psychonauts, which is another one I wanna play. I wanna play Psychonauts. Oh my God, Sam, will you freaking stop? Please fix this problem. Here, I think maybe this might help your wheels. See, you can get an annoyed even at the ones you love That's most, good. like Pajama Sam. Now do the back, huh? <coughs> ooh, ooh, yeah! Yahoo! <coughs> Fun, yeah! I'm king of the tracks again, thanks to you, kid! Hey, what'd you say your name was? Sam. Well, listen, Sam, the king owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, a king will take you. So I had a lot of dreams as a kid about uh, riding around on King the Minecart specifically, and it's because of these. Oh my God, Sam, will you freaking stop? Um, it's because of all these cutscenes uh, that we're about to see of uh, going through the mines. It's really exciting. It's really fun. I'm mean, gonna have to do some rapid clicking for the mines, um, which is a little. Um, it was challenging for me when I was like five. Um, you know, it was, uh, you, you gotta quickly choose which path you're gonna take in some instances. It's very fun. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so we got, oh, we got this playthrough. Sometimes this isn't a path. We do have the hammer. So we can handle this. It's a hammer and it works great. <laughs> it is a hammer and it works great, Sam. Ah, uh, okay. These boards are yeah, stuck so on Yeah, so Jeff Jeff Seitzer is um is the voice of uh someone important from Halo. So if you're a Halo player, you probably recognize him. <laughs> Wait, we give uncle, uncle. I was tired of that job anyway. The you fact think that darkness will be like mad? a lot of things uh, in this world are just randomly there. sentient. I know, it's have great. a nice day. And uh, classic Sam, bye now, have a nice day. Like you just pried them off a wall. But you're like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Bye. How come the tracks go right up to that wall? This is new to me. I thought these tracks went right through here. I don't think we can get up there. King also does that thing where he spins around and kind of becomes a little swirly loop. It's great. To play Dragon Slayer. I'm, 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 you, you've mentioned it enough that I'm, I'm intrigued for sure. Um, this door also, here's another fun fact about uh, times when I used uh, the Pajama Sam art style as an influence in my own uh, 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 video game making. Um, I made an asset for uh, also BIM um, and uh, it was a not a clone of this door, but it was heavily inspired of this uh, by this door, the orange and purple uh, color scheme with like little swirlies. Um, it was very cool, it was fun. What are you gonna do with that? You'll see. Okay, you be careful with it, yeah? By the way, what is this thing? It's a pickaxe for mine and gold. Oh yeah. Ah, yes. Thank you for the uh for the knowledge. Don't even bother, kid. It's a one-way door. I 
feel like I need to assign someone every time I stream to just be my like looker upper person because like I always need to Google voice actors. I always need to look stuff up. I always I need my I need my facts. I need my facts. Well, there's gold down here. It says gold. There must be gold through there. Consider yourself hired. So as you see, there's a lot of different paths we can take. And eventually it'll bring me back here. That was fun. <laughs> hey, I found a stop back there. <laughs> Thank you, Ensign. Proceed. <laughs> There's so many socks, but you can only get one per, uh, per, like, run through. Oh, I found the gold. All right! So we're gonna have to go through the, the mines a few times. Hey, look at that! Wow, this must be gold! Hey, I found a sock back there! I always like that bit because it just, like, chains together a lot of separate Sam dialogue, so he just goes like, Whoa, look at that! Wow, that's awesome! Whoa, I found a sock! Like, <laughs> he's just all over the place. What shall we do? Shall we use a hammer? I think I'd need something bigger. Something bigger, eh? Well... The cleverness! Yeah, 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 all Sam's like, whoa, whoa, I whoa. warned you to be the careful. Great, the great sound effects. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth a little? Say, let, let me, me have, have a small piece. piece. Huh? Deal. Yeah, the mind music is great. Like all, all the music from this game is is really good, but um, they're uh, each um biome or whatever it has like its own um set of soundtracks uh, that it goes through. The darkness is house music is really great. It's hella bossa nova. It's so fun. Where is that other sock that we found? Up here. Let's go this way. I like this part. I think there's still one or two areas hey, we I haven't gotten to yet. So many socks in the mines! <laughs> this is gonna be a full sock run through, everyone, do you think? I hope so. So we can get the good ending. <laughs> I never watched that. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh another sock. Yeah, Pamela, Pamela Adlin. Hey, I found a sock back there. Yeah, Pamela Adlin is the uh, the voice actor for Sam. Freaking love her! She was also in that show, uh, Louis, with Louis C.K. I know Louis C.K. is bad. Um, but that show, uh, I did enjoy it when it came out. Um, and she did a good job in it. And she was, it was like one of her only live action roles. She was also in, um... King of Staten Island. That was a live action role with, um, what's her name? Uh, or what's his name? Um... Pete Davidson. Uh... And this is, um, just a, it's a snake game. I'm not gonna play it, because I don't want to, but it's just a little snake arcade game. There's no, um, reward for doing, so it's just a little thing that they put in because they could, which is nice, and that's cool. But now, at this point, we have, uh, we have now seen all of the mines, officially. I like the little darkness moon. I didn't catch that before. Whoa. Yeah, I wasn't familiar with that show, but like I know she's done so many things. I love her voice. I love her as an actor. She's great. She's also really small and as a fellow short person, love that. 
All right, so look at King, he's so happy. And now in other areas of the game, uh, if we can see the mine, uh, the mine tracks, uh, which you can in a lot of different areas, uh, for instance, the next screen we're about to go to, you can sometimes see King zoom, zoom it along, which is so lovely. Like down here at the bottom of the screen. A little cutscene first though. <gasps> yep, this is Darkness's house, all right. So hang on, we'll wait and we'll 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 wait for for King to to zoom by because it's awesome. Watch down here at the bottom. It's really it's really exciting. I promise. Yes. <laughs> There's no mail. Beat it. Well, all right, there's a little mail, but it's all for darkness. And it's all bills. You don't want what's in here. Trust, Trust me. me. Oh, you're fine, Tags. I appreciate you watching. No, well, you don't have to talk. Go. I appreciate that you're here. Darkness may I mean, already have won Nemesis, a fabulous how million dare you? dollar prize. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh. That one's turned into a crab. That's another one where you can spam click and it keeps doing cool things, which is nice. Hello, everybody. Hi. Thank you, thank you, you've been great. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot, thank you, you've been great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it says rocks. Looks like darkness isn't a very good speller. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. I love how smug he is. I better find a way to get up into darkness's treehouse. These baskets must be the way up into darkness's house. I also love the little car the 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 superhero um, sound effects that come up sometimes. <laughs> These are pretty heavy. I guess I weigh more than one stone. for some awesome bossa nova tunes. Hello! This Anybody one's not home? as bossa nova as some of the ones in this building, but trust, trust, there's more. <laughs> PC game day. I'm gonna play those ones uh, that we thrifted the other day. The other great thing? Look, this clock shows the real time. According within, to this clock, it's 9.15. Within 15 minute increments, but like, it still reads that from like your computer and projects that in the game, which is a clever little thing that a lot of humongous games do. Why aren't you moving anymore? Hello? I, I saw, saw you, you dancing. dancing. But a boom, but a boom, but a boom, but a boom, but a boom. He's gone! 
on. Sometimes that room is a plot point, uh, and the mask is in there, um, and uh, is under the foot of um, of the uh, the couch once it stops dancing, and you have to um, get an invisibility potion and go in there while they're still dancing and grab it, because when they freeze, it will be under the couch foot, and, they can and he can't grab it. Oh jeez, yeah, I don't know that one. There's there's so much in the world of uh, of PC gaming that I don't know, and it's really magnificent. Like, there's just so much to explore. Like the fact that I got like stuck on my childhood games um, is both it's, it's both a blessing and a curse. You know, like I'm I'm fascinated by these. I learn a lot from replaying this game, but I do need to play other things sometimes too. You ready for some freaking banger tunes? I've got big and down to a science. I'm the biggest household appliance. Bake, broil, simmer, saute. All my friends think I'm flambe. Although shortly I'll be chewed. <laughs> that there's no time to get stewed So happens when you are tasty food Now to be fair there are limited uh, run throughs and limited places that the things can be hidden So like I think each one only has three places it can be So like it's pretty limited but like My for a kid is a daily Who like grind. is gonna play this I've a few times if they're not me mind. Chunks of food for darkness is stew. Turn my crank and watch me spew. <laughs> All of you go in the stew. I'll miss you too, so say adieu. Chopping up my plate and then these vegetables of julienne. My friend Rain actually found a lyric I did not even know from previously if you click on the shelf. I did not know this was a lyric point. Yeah, we should That's put him in the grinder. Really no, good. it's not gonna do you any good. What if we put him in the oven? <gasps> There's no time for playful silliness. You must keep your mind on business. We are here to stage a rescue. Sorry, um, I just meant to test you. That's a line I didn't know was there. I never sorry, I hit the mic. I never tried to use the the, the carrot on the on the stove before. That's great! That's awesome! That's so clever! Ah! <laughs> okay, let's do the plot. It's gotta wait for the right point in the music to join. Wait, what just happened? Oh no, did it freeze? Oh no. The only time I've managed to make this game freeze has been in the kitchen scene. Which is unfortunate. Oh no! And there is no save. Mm. 
Yeah, there's no save point. Nah, we're screwed. All right, no, it's okay. I have a plan because I've done this before. Oh, don't, no, don't X out of OBS. Don't X out of OBS. Don't do that. Nah, there's no, but I have a plan. Don't exit OBS. What we are gonna do is we're gonna speed run Pajama Sam up to this point. We're gonna speed run it. Spus, 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 speed run it. Deep in the bowels of an old pa So I'm hitting the X button to uh Alright, we've got all the items. I'm hitting the escape right, button to, uh, to to go through animations. Because we're just going to skip through all the stuff that you already saw. Now the thing is, our items might be in a different place now, which is interesting. So you might actually get to see some of the variability that we we're talking about. Let's... All our socks gone. Me. Thanks Whoops. for the. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ain't no fear of progress loss if an auto f f save in your game is tossed. That's some good wizardry right there. Whoop. Come on. Okay, so interesting. Look, so the, the lunchbox is no longer here on this playthrough. The carrot is still here. The carrot is, I, th I think, the more likely, um, is much more likely than the mask being under the uh, the couch. Because I've only gotten that like once or twice ever. Um, but the carrot is almost always there. It makes sense. They, they had a lot of fun with the carrot, clearly. Another sock. I better pick it up like mom said. So because the lunchbox isn't sock. over here, um, this uh, w wishing well serves no purpose other than just to be hilarious and have an inordinate amount of lines of dialogue. So let's enjoy him. Hey, pennies. I wish. I wish the grass were greener here. Why are you wishing? I threw the penny in. Who's the wishing well here, you or me? Oh. I wish for a penny. Oh, good heavens, I've got my wish already, haven't I? Thank you. Ain't no fear of I wish for lost a giant chicken sandwich in your with game spicy is mustard tossed. and Swiss cheese. Oh, what I wouldn't do for a chicken sandwich. I wish I could see what was behind me. I wish for some peace and quiet. I wish you'd leave me be. Okay. But yeah, anyway. No purpose uh, over here. We gotta I find a I new place. We gotta find where the uh, guys back on. Where the lunchbox is now, huh? Whoa! Whoa. Good fortune to you. Yes, Thanks. good fortune to you, fellow tree. Good day to you, fellow tree. Oh wait, there was a sock in the foreground. Another sock. Nice. Interesting. Okay, the he flashlight hinted. is not in here. Wow. We've got another hammer playthrough. So that much is the same. Oh. Interesting, interesting. Oh, hey, yeah. I found the lunchbox. Hey, there's my signature additional metal pajama man lunchbox. Were we looking for that? Yeah, I need it to put darkness in when I capture it. It's my portable bad guy containment unit, just like Pajama Man. I like that Otto's oh, like, were we looking see. for that? Because like he has Rat not been told about the plot it. of the game. He has not been told about Sam's mission at all. But all right, so we're gonna have to find a way to get that out. But see, that area is blocked off now, so you can't get up through the wishing well because there's no need. It's not blocked off this game. Whoa, did you see that? That looks like fun. Um, sure. Fun. Right.
That's a geyser. A what? A geyser. Yeah, that was fun. Let's do it again. Um, how about not right away, okay? All right. Let's go get King. We're gonna rescue him again. I got... Hey, King, what's this thing? Well, that's a water meter. It says 112. Remember that. Don't ask me why, just remember that. Don't question me. <laughs> that looks like one of Dad's socks. I wonder how it got here. Don't even bother. Now, unfortunately, you cannot really fast forward through the, the, the mines part, so we're just gonna have to breeze through it all real quick. Oh, there's one. He didn't find a sock back there. Bummer. Sock back there, buddy. Sam is now a millionaire, at least until he tries to cross that damn bridge. I gotta rock the socks. Hey, I found a sock back there. Quentin Tarantino fans will be it's interested to know I'm not even Any wearing time socks. You need a ride through the mine. I am a pajama, professional pajama Sam pajama pajama. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> All right, let's hope that the um, animation doesn't get broken on the uh, on the kitchen this time. Oh, yeah. The kitchen is really the only I time that I that I've had the uh, the kit uh, I've had the the game break in the port, which is unfortunate. Hey, what? I'm just gonna do my task right away. Please, won't Would you open the door? Cause I have another victim. What? You I surrender, not ever to wait. Now I see. You not I captured that troublesome carrot Caesar guy. I'll open up my door so you can put that rogue inside my drawer. Oh no, our leader, leader was caught by our freedom for not We are diminished, completely finished. Carrots! Hey oh, guys, guys, 
Don't Can't you see he's with me and, and you're free, free to go. go. Free! 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 free. No, Sam is pretending to be a class free. traitor. Yeah. Free! Free! Um, free! free. So free. that he can infiltrate free. the place and then free all the all the comrades. Sam would never. I almost Don't you slander this, Sam in, in my it. chat. You have taken the I'll time and you. turned it. <laughs> You may take this mask <laughs> and wear it. A gift of gratitude from this carrot. Hooray, I finally have my mask. Two more things and I finish my task. No more clicking anything else in the kitchen. It's broken. <laughs> Sam, a class trait. As if. As if. Bah. Humbug. You know what's great? I learned what humbug means. I thought humbug just meant... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's clever. Um, I just thought... Um, I, I learned recently-ish what humbug actually meant. I thought... Other than Sam? Probably King. I would use King the Minecart. The carrot would have a really cool special attack, though. But I would use King the Minecart. But, okay, no, um... I thought humbug just was like... An exclamation of frustration because I thought Scrooge was just going bah humbug like ah shit like but no 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 humbug means like nonsense or a falsity um so he is actually uh, Scrooge is actually saying um you know humbug like you know this this is this is bullshit and so that's why when his nephew Fred says uh, Christmas a humbug uncle how can you mean um he's going like what do you mean Christmas is nonsense of course it's not nonsense it's 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 very important to me so yeah just a little bit of trivia for you about the word humbug which does not appear in this game and I just said hi hello and welcome to the Brain Tickler, the game where you get to show shit. how <laughs> smart <laughs> you really are. That's what I Actually, thought. Actually, I just wanted to go through. I think we can arrange that, can't we, Wink? That's right, Blink. But you'll have to answer a few questions first, because as you know, no one can pass through the doors of knowledge without first playing The, the Brain, Brain Tickler. Tickler. Let's meet our first contestant. Who would be What's your, your name, son? You're, uh, you're it's uh, Sam. He's Sam, all the way from, well, wherever it is Ooh, he's from. That's His a good, that's a good bit of trivia there. Got channel links, ancient spirits, and they stamp collecting. One. I like that. Thank you. I don't collect stamps. You're making that up. And he'll be playing today for the right to pass through uh, Everyone the in the chat, please tell me what character you would main in the Pajama Sam categories. fighting game, other than Sam, because what he is the obvious choice. One question from each of the categories. He wins! And we all know what that means, right, Wink? Step right over here, Sam, and select your first category. Our categories today are worms, computer science, fruits, and the land of darkness. Comrade Carrot? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd pick. <laughs> oh man, I love these categories. We got some great ones here today. Let me try worms, please. All right, here is your question. Which worm is a favorite food among mammals, birds, reptiles, and carnivorous invertebrates? The gummy worm. The mealworm. Quite knows worm. this one. Worm grass. <laughs> the mealworm. You are absolutely right! Wow! That's one category down and three to go! You're Quaddy, doing who well. Are you playing in the fighting game? and choose another category. <laughs> Let me try computer science. All right, here is your question. What is the best computer programming language? Pascal. Only a geek would worry about something like that. What should I pick? APL. C. I think this is one of the ones that everything you pick uh, is technically right, so it's really just whichever one we think would have the most amusing response. We 
which answer should I choose? Yeah, uh, it, like a any any of them would uh, any of them I think will be right. We should do Pascal. Pascal, that's absolutely right. <laughs> Two down, two to go. All right, which of the remaining two categories would you like to try next? Now we won't have um, the uh, we won't have this question in this playthrough, but in one of the other playthroughs, there's an Easter egg about one of the game artists. Um, the categories are, and it's like who painted the Mona Lisa? All right, and one of, you can choose now. I'm talking. One of the categories is. Um, I'll take uh, fruits, please. It, it All is, right. Or Here one of the answers is, is Augie Pagan, who is what one of the background color artists. Isn't orange. What color is an orange? Green. Yes, oranges are green before they ripen, but the correct answer is orange. Oh. But don't worry, oh, there are plenty mark. of questions left. That's a good, so that's you a good, can try uh, again. That's, that's right. a good one. So go ahead and pick a category. So I like that if you're technically correct but still wrong, it will acknowledge that. Like, because I wanted to see if it would say something about moldy oranges or anything, but it's like technically oranges are green before they ripen, but we are looking for orange. And I'm like, I'll ah. Take fruits, please. All right. Here is your question Apple pie is made with what fruit? Tomatoes. Apples. That's correct. You're really on the roll now. <laughs> Are you ready for your final category? Oh, you're right. Um, Hi, Dragonite. Uh, Good uh, to see you, buddy. The land of dark. I'll take the land of darkness. All right. Here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? Do you remember? When I asked you to remember, I remember, but do you remember? This is an audience interactive show. Hmm. Correct, correct, Quaddy. Well 112. done. 112. That's absolutely right. You've done your homework. You correctly answered questions from all four categories. That makes you the new Brain Tickler Grand Champion. <laughs> Attention to detail, we like that, we like that. Congratulations, Sam! Gee, thanks! Dom Perignon, tell us what he's won! Blink, as the new grand champion, Sam has oh, won yeah, the right the to pass through the choice. doors of knowledge anytime he chooses. And they're like, they're opening clothes on you as like a big You mean I can go attack. through right now if I want to? That's right! Wow! Thank special you for attack. being here with us the, you, you have to answer a trivia question like really tickler. quickly. Until next time, this is Wink and Blink saying good night. And like those night. star animations from the top there, Blink's wardrobe um, was provided the by the one coach during paint the special company. Attack. So in the other playthrough, this is the doorknob that falls off that you can, um, excuse me, put on that shed door um, if there is no doorknob. Pardon? Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. <laughs> Pardon? Excuse me. Sorry. No admitting. Important <laughs> gravity experiment. Yeah, big door is bad. Yeah, it was the yellow submarine joke. Glad you caught it. A visitor. <laughs> well, well, well. We don't get many visitors around here. How do you do? Pretty well, thanks. How about all of you? So, fine. in that previous um, playthrough... In fact, oh, hang I'm on. down I'll like talk. downbeat. Oh? How come? Because I, I ain't got, got no body. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, so in the other playthrough, if we had, um, uh, if we had, had, uh, gotten to stick through the playthrough with the, um, the wishing well coming through in that area that we couldn't get up on, there were some ores up on here, and you'd be able to nice climb up. from up here. You be careful now. 
bit by bit. Even nicer view from up here. And swing on the chandelier. Be careful, which you can technically you might do. Break something. And actually, I've noticed this before. Um, the it's broken and it shows the ores even though they're not there. Um, but you can swing on the chandelier and get the ores in the playthrough that you need, them, which is cool. <laughs> Oh, and these guys do sing. Hey, hey, check this out. I'd swing my arms if I had any arms. My arms rest away. I'm nodding my head because I have a head moving ahead today. Good night, Dragonite. Good to see you. <laughs> this symphony is not by me. I've, I've never, never heard, heard such travesty. There's more, but I won't go into it all. Oh, clock playthrough. Another sock. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. I've come to wait. Don't tell me, let me guess. You're here to defeat darkness, right? How did you know that? Seen it before, boy. You mean I'm not the first one? Oh, heavens no. Honestly, oh. very like I I it's in it's in the works in my brain. Um I just haven't like physically sat down and like done the outlining of it um because like i want it to be well organized and i want it to be nice and thorough um i, I might be able to get some interviews if i'm lucky um the humongous people are really nice so like they might some of them might let me interview them um which is cool so you know we'll see um it's it is something i would like to like do though for gears, sure do you they're really great well i tell you what i'll let you have anyone you want if you'll set my hands to the correct time for me okay except i don't know what time it is well maybe you could ask one of the younger clocks around here they'd probably know the little smart alex okay i'll do that i like how he talks about the, the younger clocks a lot of kids and you can't do it me? randomly because you have like to go find a, a clock yes. in game of course i've been here a long time a real long time did they have cable television when you were first built? Oh no, I'm much older than that. There's another sock! The Book of Clues. If secret doors you would go through, <coughs> you must push in only blue. This book is blank. I could write my own poem if I had a pencil. <laughs> Have you ever even played Minecraft? The big dog and the small dog, a little story. Once upon a time, there was a big dog and a small dog. And the big dog picked on the small dog all the time. Until one day, the big dog got caught in a fence. And the small dog helped him out. And then, they were friends. The end. So, um... <laughs> that, uh... That part where he, he said, if I could write a poem in here if I had a pencil. This is, in fact, the playthrough in which Sam can find a pencil. And if you come here with a pencil, he will write a poem. But anyway, it said push in blue. Whoa, that looks like a secret Ow. door. I don't see any way to open it. <gasps> My bones. My bones. I think I saw something on the other side of the door. So. <laughs> it's interesting because here... In that shot, it makes sense that he would say, I think I saw something on the other side of the door. It moved rather quickly. But note this part. I think I saw something on the other side of the door. He wouldn't have seen it there because it's on the other side of the thing, unless he was commenting on having seen it before. Anyway, this is another really great um, uh, uh, bit of programming here because these guys, 
have a lot of dialogue trees that happen depending on the order in which you click on them. Let's just do a few of them. They have so much that you can go into. There's full YouTube videos uh, on like all of their dialogue. But well, let's just do a few. Here we are, burning. I feel lightheaded. You're burning up wax for brains. We all are. Whatever. Well, here we are, burning. I feel lightheaded. And when the wax dribbles down my back, whoa! Sometimes my wick pops, and a second later, there's a really distinctive smell. I've been meaning to mention that. Well, here we are, burning. I hate being a candle. Try being a sea cucumber sometime. At least sea cucumbers aren't very flammable. Well, here we are, burning. I hate being a candle. Stuck in a sconce and slowly melting. What kind of life is that? We all have our roles to play in the great dance. I just don't like being the rug. Know what I mean? Well, here we are. Burning. Have I mentioned that I really love this job? I'd say at least a hundred thousand times, yes. Come on, let's not exaggerate. Oh, all right. Fifty thousand times, then. Well, here we are, burning. Have I mentioned that I really love this job? But you never say what it is you feel. Good. <laughs> well, here we are, burning. Good. <laughs> I feel lightheaded. And when the wax dribbles down my back, whoa! Sometimes my wick pops, and a second later, there's a really distinctive smell. What a rush. Well, here we are, burning. I hate being a candle, stuck in a sconce and slowly melting. What kind of life is that? Will you blow out the flame on the top of my head? <laughs> well, here we are. Yeah, burning. you get the you get the idea. There is more, like because of permutations, but like wild. Hey, another sock. This is another one of my favorite locations in the whole uh, in the whole game. Wow! In this, this playthrough, like it's it's no use to us, but it's still really cool. Something. Oh yeah! That's really cool. Wait, which one is Ron Gilbert? Thank you, looker upper of trivia. Major Magenta in the laundry room with the lint trap. Madame Mauve in the attic with the oars. Dawn Dark Yellow in the utility closet with the broomstick. That's awesome! That's really cool. I didn't know that fact. That's a good one. I, I like this song a lot. I think from and the I soundtrack. Think and I think. Let's do some potions! Uh. <laughs> Yeah, um, oh, yeah, Ron, Ron Gilbert is is the uh, creator. Uh, the other names I don't recognize off the top of my head, but I, I would Purple. imagine they're also staff. <laughs> yeah, Ron, Ron Gilbert is one of the two founders of Humongous Entertainment. <laughs> Ability to play the cello is found in orange, red, and yellow. Silly and ridiculous. That is true. Oh, I like this one. Wisdom. To meet the wisest man in town, use purple mixed with green and brown. Mm. 
The, the wisest man is he who understands that he understands nothing. But how can he understand if he understands nothing? Ah! You begin, you begin to understand! understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, this one's good. Hey, what a ripoff! Yeah, like, why we see a rat clown? There's so much to unpack there. Wow, I'm rich! <laughs> Internal Revenue Service. I'm gonna have to take some of that for taxes. You can keep this moldy piece of cheese. Me in 2023. Actual picture of my life. Let's go! I wonder what this button does. Now, if hey, we wanted to, out, this is now a connection to the mines, and it's really nicely color shown as well. Because it's very orange on that side, but the door on this side was very purple, which is kind of the colors of the inside of, uh, Hi, King. of uh, Darkness's house. But yeah, we could go through the mines now if we wanted to. We're not going to. Actually, yes, we are. Sorry. I forgot about a plot point. <laughs> Howdy, Sam. Hi, King. Sam's little determined, like, one eyebrow down face that he does a lot. I think it's a really, uh... It's a really great, like, character face that he's got. Like this. Like, where he's like... Yeah. Bye-bye now. Remember what I said about that bossa nova? I just don't see why it always has to be you who reads the question. I deserve to read half yeah. of the question. It's just because I have a better... Oh, shh. It's the grand champion. It's funny. I've always been partial to drawing Good characters. Good evening, um, Mr. Little, grand Champion! Like a little crooked smile. Hi. Um, and, uh... You know, it's it's funny because, like, what one could think and wouldn't be entirely like off base to say like oh this probably like uh influenced by the little dreamworks smirk that you're referencing here but like if we're being honest it's probably about pajama sam i still for need me. to find my flashlight and my lunchbox hey a magnet this is sure to come in handy so this is the song that sounds the most like, um, my friend FCD uh, actually uh, wrote me an awesome uh, theme song that I haven't gotten to use yet because I haven't been making Minecraft videos for a little while, but um, the, the, it's, it's very much like um, uh, the theme song that uh, FCD made me, which I'm so excited to be when, when I'm finally uh, gonna get to show you guys that because it's really amazing. Like FCD did such a good job and I feel very lucky to uh, have a cool music friend who's just like, I'm gonna make you a theme song, you know? <laughs> we haven't gone up here yet. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Grand up the Champion. Stairs. I don't know what you're referencing, but if you send me a picture, I'll look later. Oh my gosh, darkness must be right behind this door. Another sock. Mm-hmm. 
And here's Putt Putt. Bump on the shelf. I can't go in there without my lunchbox and my flashlight. Makes sense to me. Oh. Oh. I realize that's true, but fair's fair. And shh, it's the grand champion. I love that these guys are always having an argument just barely off screen. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! Whoa! What happened? According to this clock, it's 10 o'clock. All right, he's gone. It's all coming together now, boys. It's all coming together. I think you'd look better on camera if you were painted a different color because of the lighting on that side. You say, uh, whoops, uh, we'll continue this later. These two. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion. Hi. What about cars? Were there cars when you were built? Let me tell nope. you. There weren't even Dang, cars then. The okay, I'll try to set the time yeah. for you so I can get a gear. Okay, that should do it. Say, nice job. Thank you, son. You go ahead and pick out a gear for yourself now. I don't know if my gear is right. I'm probably gonna have to Thanks come back and switch gear, it out. Grandpa. We'll see. Okay, so let's go and get the lunchbox because we have the magnet. And then there's something else that we need to do with Otto. Hello, Mr. Grand Champion. We're almost done. We're coming. It's all coming together. <laughs> Interesting. Where those? Um. Okay. So I have to go down the waterfall. Oh, first, though, let's do something else. Let's pay this exorbitant fee. Here you go. All right, you're clear. Go on across. This pencil says construction crew on it. That's right. I'm the most important member of the Land of Darkness construction crew. Without me, they wouldn't know what to do. If you're so important, why are you hanging around in the park instead of working with the construction crew? <laughs> I'd rather not talk about it. Want to come along with me for a while? Sure. It has to be more exciting than sitting around waiting for one of these old loafers to make a move. All right. Get it, loafers, because there's shoes over there but playing the game? Ah! Havarti. I'm fine. How are you? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I said Havarti. Don't you know how to play cheese and crackers? Mom told me I shouldn't play with my food. No, cheese and crackers is the name of a game, see? Come on, I'll show you how to play. Hey, this is like tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-who? No, 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 this is, this cheese, is cheese and, and crackers. crackers. Pay attention. First, you need to choose which you're going to be, the cheese or the crackers. The cheese, of course. Okay, I'll be the crackers. You're trying to get three of your cheeses in a row before I get three crackers in a row. Let's see. Foiled again. Darn you one. 
I'll beat you next time. So here's a fun fact. If you do not play cheese and crackers at this time, there's a later point in the game where cheese and crackers comes up. And if you've not played it, Hold it. then if Sam will go off and play this. But if you I'll have, then Sam's like, oh, I've played that before. Oh, okay. You wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me. Thanks. Look at his little face. As if Sam would ever. So watch up at the top of the screen. Um, you, you could uh, you could play the uh, the different um, uh, uh, sizes and scales of boards. I didn't really feel like it, but you can. Did you see King go by there? Wait a second. He looked weird for a moment. I'm gonna wait for him again. That was the old design of King. He had a larger chin. That was, uh, if you look at the concept artwork, he looks like that. They didn't switch it out. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, that's the old, that's the concept artwork. Ha! Hoo! Ha! Hey, I've got an idea. What are you gonna do with that? Magnets attract metal, you know. Oh no, I don't think they do. I, love I that. had this friend in. Well, what do you know? Oh, that was just like a flat earther. He's like, what does it float? Magnets don't I attract metal. What are you box. talking about? All right. Now I just need my trusty flashlight and I can go capture darkness. That is so interesting that the concept artwork managed to stay in that bit of the animation there. Or the, like, the original design of King. Because the big chin looking king yeah, um, looks a lot fun. like uh, Chuck Cheddar um, Cheese of Adventure from the right third away, game. Okay. So, like, it's just character design similarities. Oh, yeah, you want to ask him about geysers again? Absolutely. What did you say that thing was called? That's a geyser. A what? A geyser. It's kind of a hot spring that spurts up water and steam every so often. It works kind of like a coffee percolator. Water in passages deep down where the rocks are hot gets heated up to the point where it would normally turn into steam. Except it doesn't because of the pressure of all the other water on top of it. So it gets really hot and it expands and it pushes some of the colder water out of the top. That relieves the pressure and all of a sudden the hot water turns into steam and POW! It erupts out along with all the colder water on top. Then more water flows Don't down into to buy the my deep merch. passages and the whole thing starts all over again. Most geysers are located in Wyoming, New Zealand, <laughs> or Iceland. The word geyser originated in Iceland from their word geosa, meaning gush. Geysers are Fellas, usually very unpredictable about the when they are out. The most famous exception is a geyser called Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, <coughs> which Wyoming. erupts every 64 minutes, uh, give or take about three minutes. It looks like this one goes off a lot more often than that. Um, thanks a lot, Otto. Ha <laughs> ha! What a guy. Anyway, Otto, it's time to bid you farewell for now. I think I'd go see our boy King! He does! I love him so much. He's so good. Sam's a kid. King. He's a little kid. Howdy, Sam! And here's real design King. All right, let's do this. I remember this project. We were working on it just before those workers mixed me up with a scoring pencil and left me out at the park. Let's finish the job. 
I'm a little rusty at this. You're gonna have to help me out. Looks like you'll need to go in order. I hope you know your numbers. So the last time I did this one, it had a, it had you count by threes, which is significantly more challenging than this one. But... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now that's a fine piece of work, if I must say so. My. <laughs> there you are. I thought we lost you. Jim Jim! Boy, am I glad to see you guys! Whoops! Gotta go! It's been great working with you, kid! Yeah, uh, <laughs> bye bye yeah, You don't mess with you the graphite You know, it's time gang. you bozos learn to appreciate the difference between a fine piece of drawing apparatus like myself and a cheap scorecard pencil. I like the fade out of the line after he's he's gone. Like, that was such a cute touch. Whoa! It's dark in here! Yes, it is. <laughs> Hey, look at that! That's my flashlight! I'll bet that was my flashlight back there. I really like this uh, this Another playthrough's sock. puzzle, so I'm glad that we got this one, because this one is a really awesome, like, multi-staged uh, puzzle that we have to go through here. So, first of all... It's some kind of a big switch. It's switched off right now. And actually, um, this puzzle was in uh, some of the earliest concept artwork of the game, so I know that this was like one of the earliest uh, ideas. That's the challenge. You have to click on the other I side and click the the switch, uh, like what, like right after. Yeah, it's a timing puzzle, which is really cute. Any socks in here? No. I haven't been clicking around that much. This moon shows up everywhere in the in the game, which is really cool. Wait, where did you see a sock? You saw it in the previous screen or on this screen? Hey, my flashlight. I wonder how we can get it. Now, if we can get up enough speed, we might be able to jump right onto the top track and get that flashlight. I guess it's worth a try. <laughs> Look at this terrifying, terrifying point of view shot. Like, wow, the perspective of this. What is it? Hmm? It's an old winch. I bet if I hauled you up here with it, we could get up some real speed. All right, let's try it. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Well, I think it's broken. All right, so we have to find the gears that look like that one. So we have to go back and, and talk to Grandpa again before we can solve this. Come on, Ken. I like that he turns around on his wheels. Okay, let's go see Grandpa. Good thing we have a shortcut. Is the shortcut this? Yeah, this way. This way. <laughs> yep, just like Portal. Yeah, like Sam has no later, fear kid. in all these all right. like terrifying, terrifying situations that he finds himself in. He's just he's got that face on the whole time. He's just chill. It's great, hero. What a guy, that Sam. My what a guy, that Sam. Hello, Grandpa. What about wheels? Had wheels been invented when you were built? That's not funny. Of course there were wheels then, otherwise how could I have all these gears? Clever. Very good point, I'd sir. I'd like to trade you this gear for a different one. All righty. Exactly, yeah, and in the next game, he, he's, he's afraid of thunder and lightning. And, uh, 
and the third game he doesn't want to eat vegetables and he's like it all it, it makes sense it's relatable to a kid but yeah like this all the other stuff he faces on his way to defeat darkness is adder it, it, it's absolutely i tried to say absolutely and utterly at the same uh same time uh it's absolutely fantastic though <laughs> Howdy, Sam. Hi, King. My problem with vegetables is I want to eat them, but they last so short a time. They go bad so fast. And it's like I forget about them, and then they're all dead. And then it's like, <sighs> I wanted to make some vegetables. Well, like, not immediately. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Well, I gotcha. Yeah, I like, um, I've been doing, um, uh, like green beans on, um, green, big green beans with my, uh, where am I going? Oh, yeah. I still need to be in there. Um, I've been doing green beans with my potatoes. King! Howdy, Sam. King! My safe food right now is, um, just like, just a potato. I chop it up and then I just bake it in, in, in the oven with some spices and stuff and I just make little potato wedges. It's great. Um. Sometimes, if I remember, I will put green beans on the pan also and eat something green that day. What did I eat for dinner before the stream? A potato. Correct. Correct. <laughs> It's a hook attached to that winch up there. All right, it's working. I fixed it. But Jim is in. Oh, yeah, see, I should do that. I should get some frozen veggies. That's a good point. I always forget that those exist. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I should get frozen broccoli because I love broccoli, but it always it always um goes bad, and then I stop buying it because like I'm I'm sick of just like having gross broccoli in my drawer, and I'm like, oh man, bought all this broccoli. Yeah, that tickles. Stick it right on his butt. Right on there, Sam. Uh, no, they're pretty good as long as they're done Ooh, well. Like, in, if, if they're done like in the oven, um, I, I don't really like steamed brussels or like I don't really like most steamed vegetables. Um, but if they're like done in the oven, they're like nice and crispy. Yeah, really good. Okay, let's go. Whoa! I don't think that was quite right. No, I don't think so. I forgot about that. That's great. Kale can be good. Um. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I want to eat. I want to yeah, eat that. Tickles. Um. Kale, I, I haven't had in a lot of different ways. Um, I used to have um when I was working at the the Viking reenactment village, we would do this um um bagel uh. Well, um, it's called a uh, skitty potty, which just uh, means uh, shit in a pot. Um, and uh, usually we did it with like pork. Um, and kale and then like some other root vegetables and stuff all in a big old nice stew and it was really delicious But okay, so we can't just go down without unhooking the thing. We just have to unhook so that's, that's nice that it uh... Yeah Let's eat a bunch of crisp Here we go! crispy Whoa! vegetables. Look at him. No fear Got it Let's eat some crispy veggies. We did it! We got the flashlight! Darkness is in big trouble. Oh, yeah, look at that. You hear that menace? Darkness is in big trouble. Are you ready for the end of the game? I'm so excited. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs> I 
I missed some socks, but I don't know where, so, well. It's also possible that there's graphic glitches because um, the, the, the port to Steam is not perfect, as we have learned. At least it's better than the mobile port. Let me briefly, before we end this game, let me tell you about how much I freaking hate the mobile port, okay? Because a few, like, years ago, um, I figured out that, I, I learned that, that um, a lot of the humongous games, yeah, a lot of the humongous games are on, uh, the Android store, I don't know about Apple, but, like, they're, they are on mobile, you can play them on tablets, you can play them on your phone. The problem is, they took the sound and they sped it up a tiny bit. I, I assume to attempt to, um, uh, you know, conserve space. And they also took like all pauses between dialogue and really shortened them. So everything feels really rushed and everything feels, everything sounds completely wrong to someone who knows the game as well as I do. Like you've heard me quoting along with every rhythm and cadence of every line. Like if it's done wrong, it's just freaking wrong. Like in the beginning when he, he's going like, you know, darkness, hello? Like, that the rhythm was wrong, and I was like, immediately I was like, I can't play this. And like, I, I just like did not get, I didn't get that far in it when I tried to play it on mobile, because it was just trash. Me. Trash port, but the Steam port is good. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! Yeah, you don't crunch down Pajama Sim, it's already freaking was made in 1998. It's fine. Keep it as it is. Ugh, the audacity. Yeah, you don't need to make this smaller. It's beautiful the way it is. All right, all right, let's focus, let's focus. It's time. Okay, this is it. This is the big one, the big one. All right, I'm ready. Darkness! It is I, Pajama Sam! I have come to vanquish you! Hello, Darkness? The closet! He's in the closet! And let's talk about mirroring. Let's talk by Zero, the Grand Champion! <laughs> That's good. That was really good. Um, but okay, let's talk about the mirroring of this scene with uh with the 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 beginning part darkness gay well i don't know he never he never says so but yeah darkness is afraid of the sam but yeah darkness is afraid of sam but also look at the layout of this room this looks almost identical to the pajam uh this looks almost identical to sam's room the bed's in the same position the bedside table like it's very very similar looking you know the the door the closet on this side that looks identical to Sam's closet. It's great. Anyway. It's locked. Maybe the key for the closet door is in there. Oh no, look at all these keys. I'll never find the right one in this mess. Maybe this one is the right key. Nah. Maybe this is the key. Nope, hmm. that's not it. Aha! This must be the key. <laughs> Aha! This key works! Okay, that's that. Now I'm ready to go into Darkness's closet and capture him. Watch out, Darkness. Here comes Pajama Sam. Darkness, it is I, Pajama Sam. I've come to vanquish you. Vanquish? Is that fun? I'm gonna capture you and lock you in my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Oh dear, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? You're scared? I'm the one who's going to be stuck in the box. Oh dear, no one ever wants to come over and play fun games with me. You like to play games? 
Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. At night, when I come out, everybody's asleep. You mean you don't have any oh, friends? Oh, dear. Well, no. I like to play games. Really? Do you like to play cheese and crackers? Do I? I played it with a toaster in the park. That's the part it's that great. if you didn't play, oh, he's like, I've good. never played, but I'm, we, I'm we down. Some, you know, some, it's some great. Crackers and, and some tasty cheese. Look at that move, huh? <laughs> this is another graphical oh, rendering yeah? error. The, uh, the, the hey, board doesn't render know? in the outer I shot, which is interesting. Darkness. Ooh, I didn't see that one. You win. You're good at this, Sam. Thanks. I like this. It's game. really interesting because even though, though it's a cutscene, it's not. A, it's clearly not okay, maybe static we play some uh, more animation. Night. Like those are individual assets because the one asset okay. doesn't load. It's really, really weird and interesting. Sam, are you all right in there? Fine, mom. Good night. Good night, dear. <laughs> <sighs> Good night, darkness. Yup. Exactly, the same closet doors. It's so lovely. And the the credits are really nice too. Um It's such a beautiful game. Okay, so yeah, the 2002 re-release. Uh, is when it was done for for mobile and on um, on uh, Steam and stuff. Yes, I don't know any of these people because this is the uh, the the um because that was the uh, the port. Pajama Simon and Garfunkel. Rhonda Gilbert, Rhonda Conley, Rhonda Conley. She's great. Ron Gilbert. Dave Grossman. Dave Grossman. I haven't actually really talked much about him uh, much in this uh, playthrough. Um, but Dave Grossman is a really strange and weird man, and I say that as the compliment that it is, of course. Um, his website is whack. Um, it's got Easter eggs in it, which all good. It's it's like a very, very good um, old internet website. Um, very, very dated, uh, uh, really cool website. It's got Easter eggs. It's got... Uh, sculptures that he's made uh, that are like you know inventions that do imaginary things um, it's got uh, some comics that he's made it's got some poetry that he's made it's got a whole page where he just rants about how he's really uh, he absolutely hates daylight savings time um, and he thinks that it should be abolished which like he's right and it's like it's just really it's really interesting he's a really interesting man he also made a clock that runs by color um Dave Grossman is a strange, weird, awesome man. I highly recommend looking up his website. Uh, I'll post it in the Discord um, uh, after I'm done streaming because, like, he's great. I, I freaking love him so much. Um, and, um, you know, really nice and uh, uh, answered my questions on Twitter when I uh, had questions for him um, and uh, answered my messages and uh has played minecraft with his son and um thought that my 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 pajama sam tree was cool so yeah yeah finder of the daylight savings man but yeah utterly fantastic oh yeah so look so pamela seagal that's before uh before she uh uh got married changed her name um 1996 I'm sorry, I said 1998 before, didn't I? I meant 1996. Um, it also says, no animals were harmed and no cheese was eating, eaten in the making of this game. And if I ever get a chance to do interviews with the devs, I am going to ask about that because I don't believe them. I don't believe them that no cheese was eaten. Yeah, mmm, cheese. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't freaking believe you. I don't believe you at all. Like, 
like, absolutely not. Bye bye now. Bye bye. It says. It's so cute. It's so. <sighs> no words will ever express how dearly I love this game and and how uh, like r like really flawless I think it is. Um. But uh, yeah, I mean that that's that's it for today. That's all I got because it's just freaking. <sighs> As all things, as all beautiful things, it must end like a, you know, like a sand mandala. It is impermanent. Um, oh, yeah, yes, please. Um, actually, hang on. I don't know if it will let you. Um, it might stop you, but hang on. Let me see if I can do... Do I have that? Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, no, it'll do it. Cool, yeah. Perfect. Good. I, I was afraid it was going to block you because sometimes my, my settings are like, oh no, don't do a, don't do a setting. Oh no, it's because you're a mod, so you have permission to do stuff. Hey, sweet. Good. Smart. Go. All right. Cool. Um, thank you for joining. Um, we're going to raid someone because it's the polite, correct Twitch etiquette thing to do. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the wizard hut. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <gasps> let's raid my other nemesis, Joa Hills. Don't tell him that he's my nemesis, okay? It's a secret, okay? But we're gonna raid Joe Hills. Let's raid Joe Hills. Don't tell him. Don't tell him that he's my nemesis. It's a secret, okay? Be chill. Be chill. 